Hello and welcome to MIDIDrumFiles.com video tutorial. This is um, Rob Goodwin and I'm the owner operator of MIDIDrumFiles.com and today I wanted to talk about Sonar 7 and how to incorporate MIDI drum files into your existing songs or to create a new song and uh, put in the drum files and start from scratch. So I guess let's get started. This here is a uh, file folder with a whole bunch of MIDI drum files in it. You can see that uh, they range from mini from you know 8-bit to 50s and 60s to uh, all sorts of things. I, I want to select a Latin and so let's open that up and you can see there's a whole bunch of Latin MIDI files. If you need some MIDI files to kind of follow along with you can go to mididrumfiles.com and there's a whole bunch of free ones that you can just download and and utilize how you need to. And so in this case, you can see I've got a blank screen here. I'm starting from scratch. So I want to just grab that MIDI file and drop it in there. Just drag it and drop it onto the center of the stage. And uh, that's good. Let me move that out of there. If you already have an existing song you're working with, just grab that file and uh, drag it onto the stage here and it'll create a new track and uh, you're ready to go. So let me hit play. And you can see the time indicator is moving but there's no sound coming out and that's completely expected because we've told it uh, to play notes we just haven't told it where to play them and so you can see when I hit play the MIDI indicators running and telling us that the notes are being played but we're not hearing any sound and that is because when I open this up you see my output is not set to anything so it's not outputting anywhere if you have an external sound module like a drum machine or a keyboard or something you can set your output to that machine and um, this these MIDI files will be played uh, through your existing sound module however uh, in this case what I want to try to do everything within sonar and uh, they have some great sounds anyway that you can utilize and uh, so to do that, what we'll have to do is set up some virtual tracks that have uh, instruments in them. So how to do that is to just click in anywhere in the gray area here, right click, say insert from track, we'll go to virtual, TTS1, and I'm going to go down to rhythm sets, which is just below your screen, but um, when I do that, it pops out a bunch of drum kits that you can use, and I'm going to select standard. So you can see it gives me the virtual track and then a MIDI track that I can record drums onto but I don't need to do that because I've already got my track up here and when I create this virtual track you can see my output now says it defaults to the what we just created the TTS1 so that's great we don't even have to change anything there and now when I hit play you see the MIDI indicator goes and we hear sound so that's great news that's exactly what we wanted so let me move this out here to give us some space at the beginning. I'll move it to 5. And then I'll, I want to chop it halfway through. And that is at 13. So um, what the way these files are set up, um, all the MIDI files that we sell are set up this way. We basically have a verse and a chorus section, or a less complex, more complex um, section, I guess. So. Uh, when I split it like this, it, I can now rearrange these files. Let me zoom out. If I can grab the pointer, I can now rearrange these files to be verse, chorus. I'll hold control to copy. So now I've got verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then I want to repeat the chorus a couple times. So I just drag that out. And basically, you can organize your song like that. And what within uh, three or four minutes now, I have drum tracks that I, that are now backing my song. So it's just uh, incredible the ease of use. Um, okay, so let's let's zoom back in here, and uh, so basically uh, that's that's it for the tutorial. But I'll just show you a couple other things that I that I typically do when I'm working with uh, MIDI drum files. Let's see. Let's drag my list in. What I do is I try to combine beats if if possible. Like let me grab this salsa here and see what this sounds like. I'll chop that one in half too. Actually, what uh, instead of chopping it in half, let's try this. I'm just going to chop this at every measure. Chung, chung. And chop this one at every measure. Okay, so check this out. 
What I'll do is I'll erase every other. And listen to this. So that is a great way to just in a few simple steps um, to really add some variety to your uh, drum tracks and uh, kind of make it pretty interesting. Um, so let's see here. Another kind of something that I do typically is to, I grab the scissors and I lob off this last measure of the chorus. I don't actually lob it off. I just cut it so that I can copy it to the very front. And so what this does is now I have a measure or four beats um, of intro click. It's like somebody clicking off, only it's in, done in the style of the song that I'm working with. And uh, I, don't, I don't have to mess with metronomes and count-ins and all sorts of stuff and configure all that. I just grab the measure and it's done. So then when I'm done with the song, I just cut that off and you know I just delete it and it's gone. So it's actually a pretty cool little time saver there. Okay, so let me just really quickly, since I have you here, I'll just add a bass line. And um, I do, do it the same way. Insert track from, from template, excuse me, infer, insert from track template, virtual track, TTS1, bass, I'll just do acoustic bass. And um, let me set it to the right there, and I'll arm the track. Now I've got an Oxygen 8 here that I'm working with. Okay, so I hit record. Okay, pretty simple. So I'll hit control, copy that over to the next measure. Now I've got uh, I got my verse. You know, so easy, really easy. So let me play this. I'll take that off, take my intro off, and hit play. And yeah, you can see latency played some tricks on me. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's okay. I, I don't think I want to get into how to correct that in this video, but. Um, that's the basics. If I have my song going on here, uh, I just put input the drums in the background, set up a virtual track for them, and uh, you're ready to go. I can also go in here and change the virtual track to an ac acoustic set or a brush set or a dance set or whatever kind of drum set I want, and it changes the whole background sound. So. Anyway, that's basically how to incorporate these uh, drum files into your songs using Sonar. And I hope you uh, got a lot out of this, and I hope to see you next time. Go go uh, sign up for our mailing list, mididrumfiles.com, and you'll receive all sorts of uh, cool tips and tricks on how to do things and uh, explanations of MIDI and how to deal with latency and all sorts of stuff. So uh, I encourage you to do that. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you.